Some people like eat, drink and be merry, um, or stumbling block. Apart from being the source of some of our most well-known phrases, this plain little book is a first edition of the translation of the New Testament from Latin into English, and its author, William Tyndale, died for its right to exist. When it was produced, it was, of course, immediately uh, something that was heretical, uh, contraband, uh, illegal, um, uh, and therefore even to have it in your possession uh, w was a, you know, a serious matter. To have published it was, was certainly, I'm afraid, a burning matter, and Tyndale was hunted down, and in what should have been a safe house was, uh, was discovered, incarcerated, and I think about 18 months later um, he was executed. This, one of the last three remaining copies in the world, arrived back at the cathedral in 1783. As an artefact, it's something that is hugely precious. Of course, it has added excitement of being contraband. Um, so it was imported in bales of wool, um, disguised so that um, nobody would know exactly what it was if it um, uh, fell into the hands of the, the customs. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's an exciting object. The book was considered to be so dangerous that copies were rounded up and brought here to Paul's Cross where they were burnt. 500 years later, the Tyndale Bible is the cathedral's most prized treasure. The book has shaped the way people pray. The services that we use today still have echoes of the services that were written in English for the first time in the 16th century. So people came to church, they could hear the Bible in their own language, but they, they could also praise God in their own language. It was almost like giving religion back to the people. The book will be on public display at St Paul's for three special evenings this month. Anna O'Neill, BBC London News.